Good day everyone, my name is Jomar I. Martinez from Bisedma 3 and this is my title Effects of Distance Learning Modalities on the Mathematics Academic Performance of Grade 7 Students in Leon Ginto Memorial College Incorporated. So we all know that the COVID-19 pandemic resulted in a widespread disruptions such as travel restrictions, close of schools, we all know that most of countries around the world have temporary closed educational institution to contain the spread of the virus. So we all know that the face-to-face -face engagement ng estudyante at ng, at ng teachers within the schools has also been suspended. Since we are in the process of adapting the new normal form of education, so, the Department of Education implemented the distance learning modalities. So, ano-ano nga ba yung mga distance learning modalities na ito? Meron tayong modular distance learning o yung merong printed and digital. Uh, the second one is the online distance learning. Nahati sa dalawa, yung asynchronous and synchronous. And the last one is the TV radio based instruction. And according to a survey conducted by the Department of Education, module learning is the most popular type of distance learning chosen by the learners. According to investigators, they explored, they have many uh, aspects of distance learning environments and they reach that there's have uh, many issues. So according to Crowley, According to Crowley et al. 1999, he found that there, there were technology issues and communication issue. So, yan yung mga issues na na-encounter ng mga learners in distance learning. So, based on my survey sa mga learners sa LGMC, ito yung mga distance learning na nakakaharap nila. Uh, most of them ito yung problems nila which is lack of available gadgets or equipment insufficient load or data allowance unstable mobile or internet connection difficulty in independent learning so that's why they most of them ano pinipili yung modular distance learning so according nga kay investigator Myler and King to, ng 2003 they found that that there were low completion rates. So, one third of the students dropping out before completing the class. Kasi nga, yung iba, nahihirapan na. So, yun yung parang nagiging effect ng modalities sa mga learners. Nahihirapan sila when it comes to technology. Kasi, most of them nasa linang. So, they are not capable to participate sa online class so mas pinipili nila yung modular and meron din naman nag nag, nag televisions or radio based instructions yun yung mga video video and they learn independently so according to Henry Coilier he found that the cons of online courses were increased time commitment and lack of support for online learning and teaching. However, Coilier also identified many positive outcomes ng distance learning modalities. Number one na nga dito ang sinasabi niya na it increased flexibility, no geographical barriers, personalized learning and collaboration and interactions among the students. And we have theoretical framework. So, yung effects ng distance learning modalities on learners' performance can be framed using this theory, which is Morris Transactional Distance Theory. And this theory investigates two variables, the student's autonomy and the distance between learners and teachers. So we all know that the student's autonomy is yung pagiging independent nila in their own feast and how they learn. 
we have concept 12 framework so the input here is the demographic profile of the respondents in terms of sex parents and occasional attainment and annual family income number two is the effects of distance learning modalities in terms of study habits the motivations of the students and academic performance of the learners and the process here we have analysis of necessary data through survey analysis of variables and a statistical treatment and the last in the output of the study will be improve mathematics academic performance by determining the effects of distance learning modalities so here the state statement of the problem so the study will be conducted to determine the effectiveness of distance learning modalities to the mathematics academic performance of grade seven learners in the Inginto Memorial College Incorporated specifically this study will seek to answer the following questions so number one what is the demographic profile of the grade 7 learners of the Inginto Memorial College in terms of sex parents educational attainment and annual family income number two what are the common distance learning modalities chosen by grade 7 learners of Leon Ginto Memorial College Incorporated. Number three, what are the effects of distance learning modalities and the mathematics performance of grade seven students of Leon Ginto Memorial College Incorporated as perceived by respondents in terms of study habits, motivations, and academic performance? Number four is there a significant difference on the effects of distance learning modalities and the mathematics performance of grade 7 students when they are grouped according to the demographic profile. Number five, based on the findings of the studies, so what interventions strategies for distance learning can, can be best used to improve mathematics academic performance of students in the Ginto Memorial College Incorporated. So, ano, ano, ano nga ba yung mga intervention strategies ng distance learning? So, distance learning, maray natin gamitin para ma-improve yung performance, yung academic performance ng mga estudyante. And my hypothesis is, based on the aforementioned problems, the following hypothesis will be considered. So, there is no significant difference on the effects of distance learning modalities and the mathematics performance of grade 7 students when they are grouped according to demographic profile. Uh, scope and limitations. So, the study is limited mainly to determine the effects of distance learning modalities. It is limited to the number of participants. So the, the respondents is grade 7 students, which won 7 to 6 learners taken from Leon Ginto Memorial College Incorporated. And we have the significance of the study. Sila yung magbe-benefits ng study na to. The parents, teachers, students, administration, researchers, and the DepEd. And we have review of rel related literature so this chapter chapter 2 provides a review of literatures in three areas related to present study first one is the online distance learning second one is modular distance learning and televisions radio based instructions so, ano nga ba ang mga effects? So, ano ang effects ng mga modalities na to sa academic performance ng mga learners? So, sabi dito, para ma-determine natin yung effectiveness ng distance learning modalities, sabi, mo monitoring is very important. So, kailangan nating ma-monitor yung distance learning modalities in order to improve the the knowledge and the skills of the learners when it comes to distance learning. So, sabi dito, the quality and the effectiveness of distance learning modalities can also be improved based on feedback of the learners. So, since nasabi ko kanina sa introductions na yung mga feedback nila about sa, sa mga modalities 
na kanilang pinagpipilian. So, some of them, modular ang pinili. And, mayroon din naman na go online. Pero, mas marami yung nag-modular kasi they are not capable to participate in online because of the internet connection, the technology, the gadgets na wala sila. We have chapter 3, the research design. So, my research design is descriptive method, survey questionnaire, and quantitative method. The population sampling, I use a purposive sampling technique. And we have 176 learners taken from Lingin to Mary College Incorporated. Chapter 3, the research statistical treatment of data. I use a frequency and percentage distribution and also weighted mean and the TTS formula. I use it to determine two variables means which differ significance or to test the significant difference between two variable means. Thank you po.